you right, guys and girls, and this is Vortex, and I'm back, and it's been a long time since you've heard from me, and I'm on Next Gen now. Um, and this is a Next Gen gameplay. This is from Scripsy. Um, he dropped this yesterday on Octane. Um, and this isn't really a video to let you know what's going on within the clan. Um, I've got a video up and coming with that. But this is basically just to let you guys know how to get your PS4 footage that you can use with a capture card um, off of your console and onto a PC so that you can edit it out like I've done here without the use of a capture card. Um, the built-in one does work fine. Um, as you can see um, from this gameplay, there's a few tweaks that you can do with Vegas with it. But what I'll do is um, in the description, I'll leave you all the Vegas settings that I've used to bring this video up. Um, I've upscaled it because the the PS4's built-in capture card only um, records in 720. So, but I've upscaled this to around about 1080, giving it a nice crisp look. So um, I'll explain all that. That will all be in the description because you don't want to hear me waffling on about Vegas settings. But this is really, 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 really easy to do. I mean, I'm retarded and I managed to do it and I managed to work it out for myself. <coughs> Excuse me, I've, I've had a disgusting dose of man flu. Um, but basically what you do is everybody knows how to use the share facility on your PlayStation. You double tap the share button before a game starts. You finish your game, you hit share and it sits in a nice little folder on your PlayStation ready to upload to Facebook. Now, this is this is where it, the the downloading element and a few things you have to do on Facebook before you can do this. Now, the PlayStation settings default automatically sets it to share on your Facebook wall to friends only. Now, what you'll need to do is once you've uploaded it to your Facebook wall, is go on there and there will be a little thing. There'll be a little drop down bar with a little globe on it. Click on that and then change that from friends to public. So basically, even if nobody's friends with you, that video will be shared on your wall. Now, just bear with me on that. Some of you might not want people to see it, but you can change the setting back after you've done what I've explained. So then what you do is you load your video up, and you have it on the screen, and you watch it, and it all sits there all pretty. Then at the top, it will say the link. It will give you the link to the Facebook video. Um, then what you do, just copy and paste that into a website called keepvid. Com. I'll put a link in the description below um, and then all you do is you type that link in there hit download it will bring it up standard definition and then it will bring up the high definition version it's obviously the high definition version you're going to want so what you do just download that it drops it saves it straight to you saves it straight onto your PC nice and easy and that is the easiest way to record from a PS4 without a capture card um, because obviously the HD copyright protection is still in on the PS4 at the moment so you have to buy splitters and audio splitters and all this sort of stuff to be able to use an Elgato or an HD PBR2 um, I have heard a rumour that the original HD PBR does work but you have to do a lot of messing around with it and to be perfectly honest you're just going to get the same quality as what obviously you're watching now which isn't, which isn't too bad um, considering it's an inbuilt, inbuilt capture card I was, I was quite impressed with the quality um, but yeah, all I did is I dropped it into Vegas. There's a few settings that you change on the um, the project properties. Um, you change a few settings in there, but like I said, I'll list them in the description below. Um, and then in the render settings. Now, I've tended to use the render settings for Sony Tablet 1080p. Um, because they I was using um, normal MP4 in and out HD before um, as a render thing to upload it to YouTube. Um, but when you do, obviously, when you do the Sony one, the video files are slightly larger, um, but the quality is a lot better. Um, but going back to when you download it from Keepvid, um, the video file that you'll get, I mean, I tend not to, to to chop them down and edit them before I upload them via Facebook from my console. Um, so what you can do with that is is just upload the complete lot. It actually takes longer to upload it than it does to download it because by the time Facebook's converted it, it comes out to about 220, 300 meg you're looking at download, um, which is normally about four or five minutes if you're on a fast fiber optic connection, probably about 20 minutes, half an hour if you're on, if you're on quite a slow um, old style DSL connection. Um, but that's basically it from me. I hope that's been a little bit helpful. Obviously I'll, I'll explain it all in the description as well so you guys have got it down in front of you so you don't have to keep watching the video and listening to me over and over and over again because I am an annoying prick. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with it now. Um, I'm going to drop a little bit of music just to finish off the video and you'll be hearing a lot more from us as a clan now that we have this 
this way of getting videos out to you guys. So take care everyone, I'll speak to you all soon. Peace.